Welcome back to the latest in our series of mindsetting videos with Steve Backton and Roger Black. Um, last week, Roger said something really interesting, which was about how some of the athletes as part of their strategy would, um, you know, would turn down certain events and focus on others. And I guess that's a big part of the latest um, step in the mindsetting program about being assertive. Um, my question was, you know, whether um, Roger feels that the younger athletes today are quite as assertive as the older. Um, <laughs> so whether that's a bit of a you know generational thing across it, all industries. I think it's a really good point, actually, Malcolm. And I think you know, with, without trying to end up as some old athlete, and in my day, my day, because of course <laughs> it was different in our day. You know, the world has changed dramatically since we were athletes. You know, we didn't have phones, we didn't have social media. But the so the actually the distraction now for for, for, for the younger athlete is is ten times, if not more, for, for, than it was for us. I mean, you know, no one really knew what I was doing. You know, I, you get on with what you think, and then next thing they see you on telly. Um, so there wasn't as much distraction as I think there would be now, and I think a distraction is a challenge to to this generation, absolutely. And 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 you know, I see that in my kids. So yes, I think I think therefore being assertive and being clear about who you are what you're trying to achieve and how you're going to do it is probably even more important to avoid that distraction and to filter out that distraction um and and i think that's a that's a really important thing it's easier said than done because when you're young unless you're super confident a lot of people certainly myself you know i wasn't that assertive as a youngster i got more assertive as i got older and more experienced but you know i certainly it wasn't somebody who necessarily was as confident about standing up and, and knowing what I really felt and making those decisions. Fortunately for me, I had assertive people around me, Chris Akabusi, Daley Thompson. So I was able to sort of go with the flow with, with them. But uh, yeah, I think it's a real challenge for all of us, not just kids. It's a real challenge for all of us to, to, to avoid distraction and to be assertive about what we're trying to achieve. Mm. And just maybe bringing that into you know, the championship context, I'm thinking it's that, that kind of in the moment assertiveness that we talk about on the mindsetting program that we encourage, you know, at one end of the scale, you've got people who maybe get walked all over and the other end, you've got your people who are maybe a little over aggressive and there's an optimal summer in the middle where you're appropriately assertive. Um, and I, you know, I remember situations where, you know, we were, we were, we were in a competition at a major championships actually. And the, and the rain, the rain was really coming down hard. I was last to throw. Everyone had had a throw and I was, we were asked to pause. And I remember thinking, hold on a second, this doesn't seem right. I, I, I'm ready. You know, I was, I was ready to go. And the officials wanted to take us inside. And I, I remember just instinctively saying, no, I, I want to have my go. You know, I could have easily just gone, oh, oh okay. You know, and I didn't. And unfortunately I, it went well um, and, and I knew, you know, because you go inside, you, you know, you cool down, you sit down. you do. So I knew I had to not impose myself because that's kind of what you're just trying to do in a, in a competition. But I think um, I suppose what, what, what we're saying on the program is, is finding the appropriate level mm. of, um, mm. of assertiveness. And that, that's what we encourage people to do. And, and of course, it's, it's based on, you know, the situation, the, what you're trying to achieve, the people around you and, and so on. And it, and it comes back, you know, you mentioned it there, Roger, you know, it comes back to the team as well of having, you know, the, those right, the, the, the right level of, of, um, of, of team members with appropriate levels of assertiveness too. So you act collectively um, appropriately as well. Um, thinking more of, you know, from a team perspective. So there's a lot going on in that. And, uh, you know, it's a big, big part of the program, but um, certainly, you know, there's, there's the big picture side, but then that in the moment thing as well of just being able to, respond and adapt to the to the circumstances hmm. what would is there anything you'd recommend to anybody who sort of, sort of struggles a bit with um being assertive when they need to be i, I would say to, to practice it <laughs> practice it in a in an environment you know like, like everything you know on our program we encourage practice because breaking habits is is what the program's all about is having the awareness to know you know, what our blind spots are, what our weaknesses are potentially and our strengths, but, but to practice it in a safe environment and see how it felt, see what impact it had. Yeah. And you just put in another tool in your toolbox. And the other thing to do, which, you know, no, I think for any of these, the tools that we provide on the program, you know, there is a starting uh, assumption that you have to be prepared to be creative. 
You know, you, you, you have to be able to, you know, anyone who went on to achieve anything, you know, thinks differently, behaves differently, try certain things that they may be uncomfortable with, but they try it because, because they believe with a growth mindset that if you just try something and you, you get something small from it, it can accumulate and, get and accumulate. So a great way to become more assertive if it's not a natural thing, is to is to imagine you're somebody else. You know, look at people who are assertive. Look at people. You know, I remember early on in my career uh, having an image of, of Linford Christie. There's always that image of Linford Christie standing behind the line but, but before going down to his blocks to run a race. And it was absolute focus. You know, it was a, it was incredible focus. It was, and, and I thought, you know, that is a great space to be in. And, and, and so I kind of copied it. And in the same breath, I copied, you know, to, to, the, you can take the best bits of everybody and you can pretend and you can pretend what would, what would Chris Akabusi do in this situation? What would Daley Thompson do? What would Steve Backley do in this situation? And, and you can play with that. You can visualise that. And, and you can take bits from everybody. You know, it, it's out there at our disposal if we have the willingness to be creative, to believe in the, the capacity of our brains to visualise. So that when we then face a situation that maybe we normally would be less assertive in, we face it in a very different way. But it takes creativity and it takes practice and it takes a, a growth mindset. You can try that one next time we play golf, Malcolm. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll, we'll have a play with a few scenarios then. All right. Okay. I've got to try and assert that ball into the hole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks, both of you. That's uh, fascinating as always. I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah.